You most likely can pick up the intent of the heart of business philosophy just in the name in itself versus what these self-appointed gurus are talking about hacks to position yourself with great degree of trust and though it's some of the cool ways you can become across as authentic. Why don't you just get honest? Be very transparent. People will pick up on your integrity that way. Integrity is going to be essential instead of what? Posting braggish, docious behaviors. Hey, look at all this money I gave to this homeless person. There's a couple books that called that a sin. So I'd say no, lead with compassion. Forgive. People will know your loving nature through that forgiveness. And they're going to be talking about, hey, hey, here's how you're going to position yourself to become across as the smartest person in the room. No, share your insights from experience. They'll pick up on your discernment. The discernment that you picked up through however long it's been of you serving your community. There's a big difference between service to others versus what? Polarizing personalities like the Wolf of Wall Street. That's my money and their wallet. They just don't know it yet. And in order to be a hero, someone's got to become a victim. Whoa, hey, how about just be more of you? That'll shine enough light on the world that people will be intrigued and want to follow you. And you're going to have twice the outcomes, twice the influence of the humanity because you stay true to your virtues. That's the heart of selling philosophy. That's the heart of business philosophy. You'll learn and hear more about the heart of operations, heart of marketing as I roll these chapters out to you. But I bet the intent is already something you're in alignment with. If so, leave a comment below. That's all right. If I got some haters out there, I want to hear your perspective because maybe I got something to learn.